morning. How are you? Let me check my connection. We're already freezing here. Hi, YouTube replayers. Come over to TikTok, please. Join us live. We're Black Women in Grants. The one, the only, all lowercase, all one word, no numbers, no characters. Come and join us. Hey, TikTok live viewers and replayers. How y'all doing? Let me give TikTok a minute to get our live livers in here. Y'all come on in, say hello. We'll give it a minute to get us where we need to be. This is for black women, small business owners seeking grants for their black woman owned small businesses. So exciting to have you guys here. I invite you to join us, hang out, stay, tell us about your business, learn about grant opportunities, get some questions answered. So come on in the room. Hey y'all, welcome. This is GPA or Grant Prep Academy. When you come in, Put hashtag FYP if you are a business owner. Are you a business owner? <coughs> Put hashtag FYP if so. Are you a black woman? Put hashtag FYP if so. And let me know. Let's talk about your business. You can also tap your screen a few times. I see you, Nikki. What's your business? Talk to me. Yin Yang Project, what's your business? I am Desiree, what's your business? Jackie, what's your business? Sharice, what's your business? So what that this means is just tell me what you do. If you were to get a grant, what would you need a grant to help you do, honey? You don't have to put your website. You don't have to tag yourself on socials. You don't have to put your tagline. You don't have to be trying to get clients because they ain't in this room, child, trust me. Um. Just tell me what you do if you were to get a grant. What is that one thing you do in your business that a grant would help out? So talk to me on that home front. And any other black women, small business owners, put hashtag FYP. Health and wellness business, holistic, holistic. <laughs> is that a thing? Holistic methods. <clears throat> any other business owners? Beauty industry, love it. Who else is in the room? Black women, for profit, small business owners. If that's you, put hashtag FYP. You can also tell me about your business and what you do. Purchase properties and rent, rehab, or sell. All right, Jackie, I see you. Anybody else? If there was a grant on the table right now that I knew about, mm -hmm, that you could go apply to, <clears throat> What specifically in your business would you need a grant for? Tell me that first. So if there was a grant I could tell you to go apply to today to see if you could get it for your black woman owned small business that you just told me about, because you put hashtag FYP right, what would you use that grant for? Real quick. <clears throat> Anybody need a grant? Because that's what we're talking about here today. So, while you're doing that, let me tell you who I am and where you are. Hey, if you're new here, put new here. Welcome new here. I'm Dr. AJ Austin, winner of over $51,700 in grants and grant-funded opportunities. My clients collectively here with Black Women in Grants have won $78,200 in grants and grant funded opportunities in the last 90 days. We just end that in the new year, right? So I come on here on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I talk to y'all. I tell y'all what I know about finding, applying for, winning grants, and the lessons that I've learned. I put all of my 25 top secret lessons in this book. It's called Hashtag Finding Funding, How to Find and Secure Debt-Free Non-Traditional Funding for Your Black Woman-Owned Small Business. That's me, Dr. AJ Austin. This is available in ebook format with an app that'll read the book to you over at blackwomenandgrants.com. It's a part of our mentorship called the Grant Game, because grants are a game and GAME as an acronym stands for the Grant Application Mentorship for Entrepreneurs. Specifically for black women small business owners who know they want to start taking grants seriously because, I don't know if y'all know it yet, but the grant space is shifting. So, if you want to know where we're headed, 
how we are ahead of the curve, join us over at blackwomeningrants.com. I teach you all that I know from the book to the app that will read the book to you to give you my 25 secrets to how to find these what we call non-traditional debt-free funding, meaning it's not a loan. You don't have to pay it. It's not based on your credits. It's not you bothering mama and them doing crowd raising, crowdfunding. Y'all see what happens when um, these crowdfunding platforms don't want to give you your money. They hold it. Mm -mm, you don't have to do that. Grants are basically money that you have to qualify for. It's looked at as a form of financial assistance for you to start or sustain your business, to grow it, to keep scaling it. So start, sustain, scale, etc. So really quickly, um, with the mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com, it comes with three lists of grants. So that's why I ask you guys, if I was to send you a grant today to go read about, make sure you are eligible and qualify for and apply to, what would you or could you use a grant for in your business today? So based on what I just gave you guys, if I said a grant was a form of financial assistance, think about it like that. How could you apply a grant to what you do in your business to start it, to scale it, to sustain it? So starting means you haven't made any money yet, yet. Sustain it means, okay, I've been making money, I've been getting along good, and now I can use a little push, a little help. Um, scaling it means let's take it to the next level. Let's scale up. Let's make more money. Let's extend. Let's grow. We could really use some financial assistance, aka grants, behind this part of my business. What are those one, two, or three things in your business that you could use a grant or grant funded opportunities about? And we'll talk more about what grant funded opportunities are. <clears throat> So toy grants, um, they can be state and area specific. The USDA and the rural areas, those are usually for like businesses that are based on agriculture, like farming and all the stuff. I grew up in rural Georgia. And um, so, yeah, but that's, you know, um, depending on the availability of grants. So just do a quick search for the types of grants you're looking for. I could send you a list of grants. The list of grants that I share with my mentees are based on you being a black woman, small business owner, period. And you can go apply for those just off of that. It's not necessarily based on where you live or grants for a specific state or area. If you're looking for state specific or area specific grants, it's best to get involved with your local government. For example, um, I have a meeting scheduled with my mayor. I met my former mayor a couple weeks ago. I learned that um, there's a city here in my home state of Georgia that is looking to bring on a full-time grant writer for the city. Um, I was at a neighborhood event last night and there's a $50 million grant that has been given to the city of Atlanta to start building. Um, so you have to get into the rooms where these conversations are being had if you're looking for specific, specific, because it goes all the way down to, um, we have a business district here. And so the, the businesses that literally have brick and mortar stores, they get something called a facade grant if they need it. So that means they've taken a building that hasn't been used for a while, maybe since COVID, and they get a grant to make the outside, the facade of the front of the building look good. And so, um, there was another meeting I went to, I forgot who was holding it, but it was within the neighborhood. And so they were t saying, you know, they were looking for businesses to apply for these grants that they had been gift give given. And so, yeah, if you're looking for area specific, state specific, get involved with your local community, your neighborhood. If you're looking for grant opportunities that exist globally, you can do a quick online search organically and just put in what you're looking for a grant for. If you want to see how easy it is to find and apply for grants, join us over at blackwomeningrants.com. I have a year-long mentorship. It's only 97 bucks, one-time payment, year-long access, and I send you a list of grants that's updated every month. There are over 200 grants listed on this. We got a spreadsheet, uh, a database, and a list, and they total over $1.2 million. And so if y'all want to talk more about the easy grants to find and apply for and get your foot in the door versus the restrictive grants to your state or area, I'm happy to answer questions about that too. So hopefully that helps. 
If you're new here, welcome. Put hashtag FYP if you're new here. Let me see ya. This is GPA or Grant Prep Academy. I'm Dr. AJ Austin, winner of over $51,700 in grants and grant funded opportunities. It's really exciting. I love sharing with you guys what I know. One thing I know for sure, and that's what we're going to be talking more about today, is that the grant space is shifting. So everything from what you've heard on the news, you know, affirmative action is going or has gone away. Um, they're also challenging programs that have been funded by grants or are looking to get grant funding, but they're only targeted toward minorities like black women. So what I know for sure is that if you haven't started applying for grants or even if you're here and you're in our mentorship program, but you're like one of our grantees that reached out recently and said, you know, I feel stuck. I feel overwhelmed. I just don't have the motivation. Well, if you knew money was on the table today, but it was going away sometime really soon, potentially, that should be all the motivation you need to get out here and do what you need to do while the money is there. OK, so that's just a heads up, seven up. Now, let me see what y'all would spend your grant money on to purchase a rehab property, retain as a rental and generate cash flow. OK, um, start up seed funding international export and marketing and building looking to open a daycare in a rural area where no daycare currently is someone has shared that idea before too I'm just getting through the ebook hello Shanae how are you you'll be tackling the PDF I like that get to work girl you in Georgia okay so yeah you know we country out here girl thank you for sharing your knowledge you're very welcome that's what I'm here for so get all y'all's questions answered if you have them place them in the chat as long as they're pertaining to grants um, as a black woman owned for-profit business i'm happy to chat with y'all about that if you got questions with joining about joining us in the mentorship we got 160 of you guys there we meet once a month we meet once a month live on zoom and you get even more of your grant questions answered for example if you found a um what am i trying to say like a grant opportunity that you know that you are interested in and maybe you started um, filling out the application but you feel stuck then you can bring that question to the Zoom and get them answered if you're reading through the finding funding ebook that's in the mentorship you can come and tell us what page you're on the notes you've taken the questions you have um, we also have recorded videos of workshops boot camps and um, master classes that I've recorded for you guys to so get the replays to all of those it's all built into the program so some of our grant gamers are on here y'all say hello grant gamers if you're here with us today I'm ready and uh, yeah it's really exciting so Jan just to be clear I am a for-profit black woman owned small business. I help black women for-profit owned small businesses. So y'all tell me this. Are you a black woman for-profit small business? Put hashtag FYP if that's you. Black woman owned for-profit small business owner. Are you based in the United States and over the age of 18? Put hashtag FYP. Thank y'all for the roses. I see you. So if you're a black woman owned for profit small business based in the United States over the age of 18, put hashtag FYP. If you own at least 51% of your black woman owned for profit small business based in the United States and you're over the age of 18 and you're seeking grants for this black woman owned for profit small business based in the United States, put hashtag FYP. That's who I help. So. I teach you how to go find these grant opportunities. I send you grant opportunities to apply for. You go apply on your own behalf. I just teach you the strategy to get your application to stand out. So if you're wondering, does this work? Can I do this? Is this legit? Do I qualify? Should I do it? Did I say, is this worth it? I teach you the strategy to get your application. To stand out. We were hanging out last night. We had a little fun activity here on TikTok last night. Hello, Ashley Rankin and mom. <laughs> it's the Grant Guardian herself in the flesh. Girl, I slept so good. I did not want to get up. I forgot what I was dreaming about. But I was like, dang, I got to get up. I slept an hour later than I planned, but I still didn't want to get up. So I slept good. We had a good little time last night. Uh, 
doing some application strategies that are going to help you stand out on these uh, um, applications. That way, when you find grants to apply for, you have these like, you know how like, um, maybe you like to play Uno or you like to play Spades. Um, I have, what's the game? Oh, I like the game of life, like the literal game of life. I'm going to win that game. I remember I played with someone who hadn't played before and I won and I made it look easy. They was like, oh, let's go again. I was like, nope, I already won because I had a strategy. I didn't have to cheat. I just knew how to play the game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Monopoly, same way. So the grant game is the same way. When you know the rules, written and unwritten, you go in and you start winning. You start collecting these dollars for these opportunities to go in and win again and learn how to get better and better. And that's where the strategy comes in. So that's why I teach you how to do it because I'm doing it. I share with you guys other black women in grants who are doing it. And we're doing it. Ashley's a $5,000 grant winner. She's here with us today. Any of our other grant winners in the house, y'all talk to me. I didn't see everybody that uh, came in yet. But yeah, I teach you how to do it. So you're not dependent on me because I'm over here. I'm working for myself. Like, come on, let's do it together. Together. That's how we do it. So hopefully that clears that up. I'm not a grant writer. You don't need a grant writer. Um, we are black women, for-profit, small business owners. We know how to do this ourselves. We're winning our own money. That we don't have to pay nobody to do it for us every time we need them to do it for us. Amen? Okay. <laughs> I see a lot of hashtag FYP, so that means there's a lot of newbies in the house. So welcome, newbies. I'm Dr. AJ Austin, winner of over $51,700. If you got a question, I can tell you how I won my grants, my grant-funded opportunities, and how our black women in grants are doing it as well in our mentorship program. Chevelle says she would restore her brick and mortar on Main Street. Uh, Main Street where, Lachelle? Lachelle. I just not combine everything. Chevelle. Which Main Street? You know, it's a lot of Main Streets. Office space and vehicle for med medical patient transport. Okay. We have Happy Mia usually is on here. She's in Georgia as well. And um, she has a non-medical transport business. She's now applying for and winning grants and grant funded opportunities for her company. I'm so excited. Oh, you're in Alabama. Okay. Outreach for the church. Hello, Pastor Tracy Holly. Um, Camilla, you sign up over at blackwomenandgrants.com, www.blackwomenandgrants.com. I forgot to mention, we have a scholarship available. So um, we're doing it on a first-come, first-served basis. But over at blackwomenandgrants.com, let me show y'all real quick. i got to unplug my little baby Bapruda here, as my niece used to call it. She couldn't say computer, so she said Bapruda. So we got a lot of little baby Bapruda. This is the Amazon Fire. I think my um, Wi-Fi is down. That's why my coverage is a little spotty. So it's actually not even connected to the internet. So I can't show y'all. That's weird though. I need it to connect. But anyway, over at blackwomenandgrants.com, you can get there through our TikTok page. Um, just click the link, www.blackwomenandgrants.com. And it will take you there. And then it's going to show you this wonderful lady who may be on here with us right now. Her name is Deanna Joy. Out of the seventy-six thousand, what is it, seventy-eight thousand two hundred, seventy-eight thousand two hundred dollars that our Black women in grants have won collectively in grants and grant funded opportunities, Deanna won fifty-five thousand of that by herself. Okay, she read what I put in the book that's included in our mentorship for finding funding. <clears throat> she went and won fifty thousand dollars for her nonprofit client. Then she won five thousand for her own for-profit business. Now she's a mentor for that same grant that gave her the 5K. And after others win their 5K, they can now hire her to help them with their business. Ain't God good when they do it? So you'll see Deanna's picture there. Then you scroll. There's a special link. If you, um, even if you get a scholarship for the mentorship over at blackwomenandgrants.com, you can still work it out with Klarna or Afterpay if you need a payment arrangement. Ain't God good? It's one-time payment, year-long access. Say it with me. One-time payment, year-long access, okay? And you get all the goodies that's listed on the site under Deanna's picture. The mentorship includes an interview with Deanna with how she won, why she thinks she won, and what she tell y'all to go do if you want to win uh, your next grant opportunity. So we give you tips. We spill the beans in that interview, and I put the interview in the mentorship. 
I'm trying to connect my baby, but put it to the Wi-Fi. So work with me, y'all. I'm multitasking. If you got more questions, I'm happy to answer those questions as well. Um, but Camilla, hopefully that helped. And maybe you'll be one of our scholarship winners today. The program is normally $297. That's the regular price of my mentorship. It's definitely worth more. People in the program, clients, my coaches and my mentors told me to charge more. And so to kind of skirt around that, I made us a scholarship. So don't worry about the 200. We got you on the end. Just invest the 97 bucks. Join us. You get everything that everybody else gets for a year. And it's $97. One time payment. Nisi says want to open a laundry mat. I'm hearing that more and more. Rita, she's one of our grant gamers. And that's one of her goals as well. Um, so you can get a grant for anything you can think of for your business. It's easiest to start with grants that are specifically specifically for black women, small business owners. And those are the grants that I have an access to the list of that I send you in the mentorship program. Other than that, you can go do a quick online search to get your own organic uh, results and dig through those. But if you want some that's already curated for you, they're specifically for women, small business owners, then you're in the right place. If you're new here, put hashtag FYP. Let me know you're new here. You still hanging in there with us? <laughs> Rosie, Rose, Roz, Rose <laughs> says, I would like to open my own salon and spa. Okay. So, yeah, go do a quick search or either sign up to get the grants that come with the mentorship. That'll help you. TNT, I'm not sure what cup means, but okay. Um, Tracy says she's not a business owner yet. Tracy, if you were to start a business with a grant, what would your business be? Uh, Ashley says, I feel some urgency to apply for business accelerators now, even though I, I want a program. I know. I went through the same thing. Mm -hmm. It was when I was um, in three of them at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, am I crazy? Well, you know, it depends on when you ask me that. So I feel you. But um, we're on a clock, y'all. It is ticking. We don't know what's to come, but we know something is coming and things have already started shifting. So my thing is, get it while the getting is good. Go look for these opportunities, apply for these opportunities, get in for the opportunities because things can literally change in a twinkling of an eye, okay? And so one program that I did last year, I'm so glad I got in what I did. When I did, I didn't put it off, even though I was kind of fatigued with all these programs because I've done over 25 of these types of programs that have been funded by grants that are designed to help us as black women build our businesses. These are called incubators and accelerators. So if you're a startup business, you can get into an incubator. If you've already started your business, you can get into an accelerator. And they got scholarships for you to go through, like the ones that I'm offering you over at blackwomeningrants.com. And we got five spots, by the way, for those scholarships. So go grab those first come, first serve. And they always get got, so don't say we didn't have this conversation, okay? Okay. So speaking of the incubators and accelerators that come with some of these grant funds, either you can get it funded on the front end where they'll cover your tuition to go through the program or fund it on the front end, finish the program, and there's a grant on the back end. You're going to start to see more and more programs like that. If I were you guys, I would go ahead and look for those opportunities. I give you my favorite out of the 25 that I did at once. <laughs> I give you my favorite six. I give you a list of my favorite six programs to go get in for free or apply for a scholarship um, to get in. That'll give you a significant financial break on this program. Okay. Latoya, welcome to the grant game. I just saw your thing come through. I didn't want to forget you. Let me get you access into the program portal. There you go. You should have got an email. Um, so I wanted to make sure I celebrated you. Welcome. Let me know you got your email and you got in and all that good stuff. I saw it come through while I was talking. All right. So I said all of that because grants are shifting to where the grants, instead of getting a check right in your hand, you can get um, a grant to go through these business training programs that make you more ready for higher level financial opportunities. The biggest shift that's going to happen in the grant space starting this year, maybe even early next year, is that the grant pool will get larger. 
So, for example, you guys have heard of the lawsuit and the cases where they're trying to come after um, funding that are specifically set aside for black owned businesses or minority owned businesses or women owned businesses. All that means is that the competition is going to get steeper. You just got to be better. Just like it's hard to get in these Ivy League prestigious colleges, you're going to have to have strategy to get in. You're going to have to know people to get in. Okay? You're going to have to get in while you can now, become an alumni of these programs so that you can let others like you skin folk in the room. That's all that means. Who told us when they go low, we go high? Y'all know who. Somebody who had to play the game a little bit smarter, a little bit better to get what they get, right? That's all that means. So now is the perfect time for us to get into these rooms, get this shmoney, open the door for others, maybe like let them in the back door, down a secret uh, elevator, take this stairway, hit this little cut. You know what I'm saying? It's time for us to come in, start winning, and be ready for what's next. We have to stay ahead of the curve. We can't wait until a judgment or a ruling is made on how we get money. We black women. Whatever we want, we go get it. We make it happen. I learned that years ago from another black woman. <laughs> so once we've made up our mind, I'm serious about my business. I'm serious about the people I want to help. I'm serious about getting this business funded. I'm going to make time in my calendar to apply for the funds that are available right now, however they show up, whether it's through a program where I get a free ride through the program to learn more about my business, to get it better ready to pitch for funds, or whether there's money at the end of the program, I'm going to go do the work now because the opportunity could be off the table when I turn around. That's what happened um, with a program that I graduated last year. They literally flipped the script. They let a hundred of us in from around the world. It was only four of us from the U.S. that I remember. And all 96 others were other countries. That same type of program with the same people who put on our program now says you got to be a six-figure earner annually and you got to have three people on your team. Most people in that program this time last year wouldn't have been there if those were the rules, but the rules have literally changed. Come to find out this program is based in Washington, D.C., it is in partnership with some politicians. They don't matter to me. I got mine. I can tell y'all how to go get yours. I can tell you the lessons I learned. I can tell you other programs like that. And that's literally what I've done in that program. Hey, if y'all no longer qualify for this program, here is a list of six other programs y'all can go apply to. Don't let this stop you. Get ahead of the curve. Use it as your motivation to take this serious. Okay? There's always going to be opposition. There's always going to be competition. There's always a chance for you to do better. That means you just got to study harder. What Olivia Pope said, be twice as good to get half as much. Y'all know the rules. This ain't new to us. <laughs> this ain't new to us. So we just got to be ready. So I said all that Ashley Rankin to get you some woosai in. Just go take a nap. Eat good. Take a walk. I'm, doing, I'm, I'm listening to stuff I do. Go do a little shopping. Take a little nap. Take your goodie powder. Get rid of the migraine, the headache. Take your nap. Eat good. Repeat. Go for a walk, go shop, and then go apply for them programs and get in there. Because they don't ask for a lot. It's just that as black women, when we decide to start a business, we start a business, babes. We ain't looking for a lot of classes to take. So now that you have all this attention on you and your business idea and people drilling you with questions about your business, you're like, wait a minute, I ain't used to all this love and attention on my business. You better get it while you can, okay? Because outside of those four walls where these programs are free or grant funded, there's a coach who will charge you $25,000 to do the same thing for you. And you'd be like, wait a minute. I was getting the same type of love for free. What am I thinking? The grant was covering that $25K. You want to know how I know? Because I've done it. And I've been the coach <laughs> to receive the funding. I remember one lady, um, her housing authority paid me to train her. They sent me the check that she didn't have to write. All because she wanted to better her business. I said, get it, sis. Another lady. Like, let me tap into this workman's comp. So, when you own somebody else's dime, we can get a little relaxed. Oh, my gosh, I'm tired. Should I keep going? Girl, you better get it unless you got $25,000 to pay out your own pocket. You see what I'm saying? Because this time next year, I can guarantee you, the majority of the opportunities you have today will not be available next year. I've seen it happen with my own eyes. I now can go through these programs and can tell when they're getting ready to shut down. Because they start with a lot of joy. Everybody talking about it. And then we get to like, almost midpoint 
and it dies off. People start disappearing. Then we get to midpoint, and you're like, wait a minute, what a joy. Where y'all at? Even the staff ain't showing up like they were. Can't get a hold of nobody. And then you get towards the end, they're like, well, we're getting ready to wrap up. And you're like, wait a minute. Did y'all even do what you said you were going to do? Did we even do what? What is happening? So you always got to have something on the back burner so you can jump back into that joy. That's a new program for me. Keep that high going. You know what I'm saying? Get it while you can still get it. Because by the end, they're going to do like what I'm seeing my program do now. And they're going to say, the rules have changed. And so me being petty Betty, I went in our WhatsApp with a hundred of us in there like, y'all said the program gone. Y'all still going to get what y'all told us y'all was going to give up. And it starts an uproar. Wait a minute, because some people don't check their emails. Some people ain't been on the call. Some people ain't in the program. They don't know what's going on. So I go in there and start a riot because... It's going to call the people back to the carpet to say, did we deliver on everything we promised them before we let this excitement go and move on to something else and change the rules? You feel me? So you got to be an advocate for yourself and for others. That's how I look at it. So hopefully that inspired you today. Ashton Rankin and everybody else who needs to hear that. Amen? Okay. What other questions can I answer for you guys? Let me know. Put hashtag FYP if you're new here. Hashtag FYP. Again, this is for black women, for profit, small business owners seeking grants for their black woman owned small business. So the mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com. Um, Latoya claimed a spot. We got four other spots open. If you guys want to come in and join us to see what the scuttlebutt is on the grant streets. Why we ain't scared, China. Somebody sent me a video. Oh, Selena. Selena, you on here? She sent me a video of Roland Martin talking about these um, programs that are going to be under attack just for helping black people. That's fine. It ain't like we're not used to adversity. It ain't like Tulsa and everything else haven't happened before. Our people were stronger because of it. So this is just an example of how we got to be smarter, how we got to make money moves, be ahead of the game. And uh, we see the shift that's coming. So if you got a strategy going in there, if you ain't just sitting around twiddling your thumbs, wondering, should I do this? Can I do this? Does this work? You got a better chance of winning what's out there right now. We can't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow ain't promised to us or nobody for that matter. You feel me? <sighs> Owning a brick and mortar. We talked about the uh, facade grants, Chevelle, that are in different cities so meet with your local government or see where the meetings are happening or just do a quick online search and put in grants for alabama see what pop up um oh your internet was down yesterday my it just logged back on for some reason now i feel like you heard me talking about you now you okay so now that it's back up let me see if it'll let me show y'all the website real quick as to what you get in the mentorship Yep, uh, Big Tay, it's only 97 bucks. It's not 297 As long as when you click on the link and you see scholarship, you can get in the mentorship for only 97 bucks. One-time payment, year-long access. Get the same thing that the 297 people get <laughs> and get that scholarship for it. And then there's um, Afterpay and Klarna there as well. You say, do we need a certification? Certification for what? Let me know. A gumbo shop in Maryland. That sounds so good. Trying to start your business, find the grant has been the hard part. What's the hard part about finding a grant, Blue? Let me know. Mary says, group home. Stacy says she needs help. What type of help, Stace? Hey, what's the scholarship site again? Blackwomeningrants.com. KW Beauty, why does your um, name sound familiar? Hey, girl. Uh, it's blackwomeningrants.com. That's the scholarship site. Why your name sounds familiar, but anyway, it's pretty cool. Okay, here it is. Just let me pull up TikTok. I'm letting my little recruiter log in. By the way, make sure y'all follow this page for Black Women in Grant so that you can get notifications when we're live. I go live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then I do some pop up lives and we have fun together. Hello, Shay. Welcome back. Okay, Ashley, they said they help Wusa. <laughs> it's comforting to know that you're encouraging us to just push now, rest. Yeah, rest definitely. 
Don't let it drive you crazy because you can't st- show up as your best self on these applications. If you're tired, you be like, just, just give me the money. Got my little stress ball here. My little M&M. Just give me some money. Get your stress ball. Get you some goodie powder. Get you. I just learned from one of my coaches. I didn't know. Um, she be, we be doing the same thing. Light a candle. Um, she be burning sage and all that. I'm trying to breathe regularly. I don't need no extra smoke. I do have incense that calm me. I'm like, oh, that's so calming. Open the window. Turn on the fan. Air it out. Um, what else? Perfume. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to play in my perfume today. Hold on. I went to Whole Foods recently, and they had this section of perfumes that are popular in, like, Dubai. So, Ashley, I don't know if you've ever seen my collection, but let me show you. Hold on, because I was going to do this anyway. This is just one of them. I got another stash in the bathroom. Don't worry about it. I keep these at my desk, though. This is my collection of little oils. And so we got um, Lily of the Valley, which smells so good, but that also reminds me of Jesus, bright morning star. Uh-huh. Egyptian musk smell real good. The little guy at Whole Foods was determined that I get that one. Black coconut, which is one I go for because it's black and it smells really good. I just mix all of them, girl. And uh, Arabian musk. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it smells good. <laughs> and white ginger. And then I just combine them because I didn't know it, but who I am. Smells activate something in my brain to be like, sit up taller, straighter, okay? It relate that it introduces the woosa. Now I can clear my head and go forward, go forth, daughter, and apply for some more rats. Amen. This is too little for me to read, but it smells good. So put a little bit on. I'm just gonna mix them. And every time I need a little, I'm like, oh gosh, that smells like flowers. Oh, that smells so good. So do what you need to do. <laughs> To bring, come back, bring it back, settle down, go apply, go do what you need to do. So I'm encouraging y'all because I encourage myself. What that song say? Speak over yourself. Encourage yourself. This stuff smells like somebody somewhere loves me. And she right here. She's right here. I love myself enough to buy that for me. Then I got my little anointing oil. I showed y'all that before, right? Shipped straight from the Holy Land. Put a little little anointing. Got to talk to the Lord. And you know my prayer. Bless the work of my hands. Because we're about to type out these grant applications. Bless the work of my head so I can come up with these great ideas. And bless the work of my heart. Because I love helping the people as I get helped. Amen. You see the things that it takes to woosa. To keep going. To motivate yourself. To not get distracted. To find your inner strength. She in there, girl. She's in there. Keep going. <laughs> so, it's a lot more stuff I do just to like, shake it off. And, uh, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to go walk past somebody just to let them be like, what you got on? I'm like, girl, I don't know. I mixed everything I own on my desk on today. I smell like, oh, she got money. <laughs> yeah, girl. <sighs> yeah, see, it's calming me. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. So that's a little tip, little trick, little hack. <laughs> oh. Get up, go use the bathroom, wash your hands, put on some smell good lotion. I got my lotions here. This is some EOS I put in a bottle. This is my little bun bun minis. I got two of them, one on my desk, one in the bathroom. Got me some dub. Girl, self-care as you go through this process is all I'm saying. That matters. It's helpful. Anyway, let me read some more comments. Y'all ask me any questions you have. If you're joining us in the grant game over at blackwomenandgrants.com, getting in for the $97 scholarship, let me know so I can make sure I'll let you in the portal, the learning portal, that is, as we talk. The website is blackwomenandgrants.com. Deanna Robinson, www.blackwomenandgrants.com. Blackwomenandgrants.com. 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 Hallelujah. If you do it like that, you'll remember it. Who was that? Hallelujah. What was right before the hallelujah? Blackwomeningrants.com. Hallelujah. Just like that. Put hashtag FYP if you're new here. Oh, okay. You've been on, but you haven't been on in a while. I know I knew that name. I know it. I be remembering. So, yes, there are grants for anything you guys can think of. Hold on. Just thought I need to write it down.
Okay. Coretta says she got some on the back burner. It's a must. Okay. Oh, I like your last name, Coretta. How cute. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Grandka. Oh, were you on with us last night? <laughs> Was that you, the the um, rescue seal? I recognize the um, <laughs> the profile picture. Good morning. So we did this fun activity last night here on TikTok with um, coming up with our super shero names. If our businesses were, um, if we had to choose a super shero, superhero name for our businesses and what we do, what would it be? And I was named Grant Guardian. So. Yes, girl. Perfume oil. This smells so good now. Makes me happy. House is voting on the bill to ban TikTok. Hope everyone called their representatives. Well, that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about grants, money that's on the table right now, um, and being ready for what comes. Not living in fear, because child, it's enough of that out there. We dealing with the today, because tomorrow ain't promised. That's all we can do. We can't control nothing else. So we don't even address it. We pray about it and let God do what God is going to do. Hallelujah. That's what we do. Pink sugar oil. Ooh. Thank you, Sharon. The skin is skinning. Thank y'all. I accidentally, somebody, somebody thought I was sweating the other day. It wasn't sweat. It was Vaseline. And I thought I was reaching for something today. And I reached for castor oil instead. <laughs> this is the same type of bottle with a little squeezy. I was like, well, it's on my hands now. Slathered my face. So that's what y'all see. The skin skinny. That's castor oil. And I still mix it with Vaseline because it gets dry. So, plus now I feel myself sweating. So all that's going on. It's, you know, <laughs> got our own little concoctions over here. So thank y'all. <laughs> that is me. Any other questions about grants, grant funded opportunities, how to stay ahead of the curve? Is it curve, curb? How to stay motivated, inspired, get these applications out there, find these grant opportunities, join us because we're offering the opportunities. Um, staying abreast of the shifts, but also preparing yourself mentally to handle them. This is not your first time knowing that shifts are coming. That's all we've been doing since we were born. Look at how much the world has changed. COVID changed a lot of things. Y'all remember when we were all able to sit in front of the TV growing up and watch Either Disney or if you didn't have cable like my family, you watch whatever was on Oprah and all that. But then all of a sudden, early 2000s, it was like, oh, now you can't use a regular t antenna for your TV. And everybody freaked out. Oh, my gosh, the world is ending. Well, now everybody has streaming services. Y'all see how we progress? We make adjustments. <laughs> we grow up. We get on with our lives. It doesn't stop anything. So you can't let the scuttlebutt, the talk of the town y'all heard what they said about this this and they always saying something can we take that same energy and go find the money we said we need for our business or maybe it ain't that important to you as you thought you would rather sit and gossip and add to the gossip and you sleep better at night but that ain't how i work over here so the community that we have we're out applying for and winning the money that's there today because this next moment is not a guarantee. Y'all get it? That makes sense. Oh, okay. Okay. Good morning, Lizette. Thank you. What other questions can I answer for you? If you got... Oh, wait. I was going to ask y'all something else. Hold on. Ooh, what was that question? Oh, okay. So, earlier, if you've been on the live with us, I asked you if you were to win a grant for the business that you told me you already have as a black woman for profit small business owner, what would you use it for? Grants really love the grants that I'm familiar with, that I've won, that my clients are winning, those grant funded opportunities that we're winning that have money built into them. They love when you stand out. So what's the one thing, and, and listen to this, standing out means you're not just looking for money to put in your pocket. You're looking to use a portion of the grant money that you win to help your community. So how would you take a portion of the grant funds that you win, maybe let's say you won $10,000, how would you take a thousand of that and help your community? Real quick, list it in the comments. 
what would you do with 10% of the grant money that you win? Real quick, let's see who will be first. The first person who answers wins. Oh, okay, thank you, hair care. Go give young girls hair care products. Provide food to the homeless. Encourage my community to exercise their right to vote. Get it, K-Meal. So, let me tell you what a grant is going to ask you. They're going to say, I love that because that's called social impact. It's like, how do you step outside of yourself and help your community? Either your online community or your offline community or both. They're going to say, what are you currently doing? How have you already started doing that? So answer that. How have you already started giving young girls hair care products without our money yet? How have you already started providing food to the homeless without our money yet? How have you already started encouraging your community to exercise their right to vote? Y'all know how when we talk about men, we'd be like, if they wanted to, they would. Grants look at us the same way when we apply for this money for our black woman on small business. If you wanted to help your community, you already would be. So give us a story. Give us an example. Give us testimonials. Give us thank you letters. Give us emails. Give us phone calls. Give us statements of proof that you've already started to impact your community before you get our money. So if you tell them that you've already started doing it, how, when, how did you know it worked? How did you know there was a need? What was the feedback? How did you measure that impact? Those are five questions Grant's going to ask you about that. How are you keeping it going? How is it constant and sustainable? How have you selflessly taken a part of what you do and continue to do it? For example, we haven't even been on TikTok for a year. But as I started winning grants, I talked to a coach who was in a program that I got a scholarship to go through to help my business. And I said, I'm thinking of helping other black women get grants for their business because I've been winning. And she said, you better. And this was a white lady, y'all. And I was like, okay, not too much. I'm going to do it. So I did. Six months later, we were winning Entrepreneur of the Year from this same program. We got sponsored by Office Depot, Office Max. They gave us $500 to go buy anything in their store online and offline and then more. So we got over a $1.2,000 in just phenomenal prizes just for, plus some more stuff, just for starting our business. So in between me saying I'm thinking of starting it and me winning Entrepreneur of the Year, which by the way, both of those videos are in our mentorship over at blackwomenandgrants.com so you get to see where we started, where we are currently, and where we're going together as a unit, okay? In between the time, I have been here with you guys since May for 141 episodes of this TikTok Live. So when a grant says, what have you done outside of just make money for yourself? Oh, well, I said on TikTok, <laughs> I want to have plus per episode live, not a robot, not a scammer, ain't in your inbox, it's me, <laughs> um, for the last 141 episodes talking about how black women can win grants. Y'all don't pay to be here. I don't charge you to be here. I extend the opportunity for you guys to come get mentorship. That's even only $97 for a whole year. That's $8.08 .08 a month to keep learning how to win the money that's currently on the table and not be scurred, okay? If they say, well, how do you know that there's a need for that? Oh, well, we started with 400 people on our page. We prayed and talked to God about it. He gave me the download to just sit and do some videos. He got my attention because I was in a position where I had no other choice but to pay attention. My whole house did not have electricity one day. And I went and sat in my car, charged my phone, recorded some TikToks, posted them. And one out of the 12 videos I posted went super viral. It now has 775.4K views. Here we are from 400 um, TikTok followers to now over, let me scroll up, 62,500. That's how I know there's a need. That's how I'm measuring impact. Oh, by the way, 160 of them have taken me up on my offer to go from learning for free here on GPA three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for 141 episodes since May to now they're learning with me in my mentorship program. By the way, that's only 97 bucks. 
I'm not charging them the full price. They're getting in for a scholarship because Grant's going to come in and cover it or, you know, whatever. We ain't tripping. But this is how I'm measuring impact. So, Mr. Grant Checkwriter, here's what I've been doing before you gave me your money. Here's what I've been doing while I'm applying for your opportunity. Here's what I've been doing as I win other opportunities. Wouldn't you like to come on and be a part of it as one of our sponsors, one of our Grant Checkwriters? I'm getting chills talking about it. I don't know about y'all. But this is how I show the impact of if I wanted to, I would. And sometimes I don't want to, meaning I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to get on here. I don't want to rush and be trying to, you know what I'm saying? But I do. I do it. And that's the impact. That's considered social impact. I'm giving back. I'm not just on here or sporadic. I've been extremely consistent. Pat myself on the back. There you go. So. Perfect example of how it's not just about getting a grant, putting the money in your pocket and going away, but it's about giving back to your community online and offline, etc. Y'all get it? Any questions? Tasha says I'm giving awesome information. Thank you, Tosh. <laughs> Any ahas, takeaways? Because it's not even about, you know, back in 1992, I had helped this one guy stand on the corner across the street. He looked homeless. Boom. Impact. Well, what have you done since then? What are you doing consistently? And how does that tie into your business, which is why you're applying for a grant? Show us how you're going to keep that going because you started it before you started applying for our money. Make sense? Any ahas? Any takeaways? Any questions? If you want to learn more about social impact, girl, that's my jam. Join us over at blackwomenengrants.com. Get one of the scholarship seats. That's only 97 bucks. <laughs> and come and join us. We got some events coming up this month and next month. And it's amazing. We have a time over there. Soul says, this is amazing feedback. My mother-in-law has been wanting to find grants for a project she's working on. There you go. Invite mom to come join us on the live. Share the live with someone you know who might need to be here. We're about to wrap up soon. But if you got questions, I'm happy to answer those questions. Be like Latoya, follow her lead, come join us in the Grant Game Mentorship Program over at www.blackwomenengrants.com. Blackwomenengrants.com. Hallelujah. So there's that. Any questions? Thank you for sharing the live. Thank you for the 2.7K likes. I see you. Ashley, you see the frames? They match my shirt. See what I did there? Mm hmm. I told y'all I'd be trying to style and profile a little bit. Anyway, what other questions do you guys have about anything that we've talked about so far? If you're new here, put hashtag FYP and let me know that you're new here. Welcome. I'm Dr. AJ Austin. I smell so good. Every time I do it, every time I talk with my hands, it's like, Yes, it's giving, it's giving. Uh, so I've won $51,700 in grants and grant funded opportunities. Our community here at Black Women in Grants, the last seven ladies who have reported their check-ins have collectively won, I always forget, $78,200 <laughs> in grants and grant funded opportunities. And over at blackwomenandgrants.com, I give you um, programs to go apply for, grants to go apply for. I give you the behind the scenes of what grants are, what they're not. I show you where we started, where we are now, where we're going together. It's really exciting. So come join us. Grab one of the spots. I'm going to go soon. My coach will be live in five minutes. And I want to catch the last day of the homework that he gave us. And uh, bring y'all some goodies back for next time. Um, oh, I was scrolling through old comments. Let me go to the new one. Okay, newbies. I see y'all. Welcome. 
Glad to have you here. What questions can I answer for you as we wrap up? we got like five minutes left, maybe less. Um, any questions I can answer for you, let me know. Oh, I can play around with my um, got some little earbuds. So let's see if I can get them open and connected. These are bigger than the ones I wanted. I'm trying to get them connected to my Bapruda so I can listen to him and talk to y'all too. Looking for grants. Do you have a website? I do. Blackwomeningrants.com. I send you three lists of grants. Other than that, you can just do a quick online search and see what pops up. Um, Karen, I'm live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then I've been doing some surprise lives. <laughs> so if you follow this page, when you follow this page, turn your notifications on. You'll know when I'm live and you can come join us as swell, minus swell. I'm going to turn this light off because I feel in my feeler a migraine trying to trigger and no thank you no thank you friend uh did i turn on okay any other questions ahas takeaways let me know i'm still here just a little bit darker in my background let me know what questions can I answer for you? What's one thing that you've taken away from the conversation we've had so far? Let me know. And what's something that you may want us to talk about on a future live? Go ahead and put that in the chat. And if you're just coming in, let us know. We're happy to catch you up. Do a quick recap. See if you have any additional questions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, <laughs> let me know. Welcome new here. All my newbies put hashtag FYP. Hashtag FYP. Hallelujah. I don't know what that is. Connect. Oh. Let's see. I'm trying to connect my. Yay, look at me being technologically savvy. I hope this works before I speak to someone. I'm trying to use wireless headphones versus wired headphones. And hoping that my audio will be crisper. Yay. It said it did it. We're going to test it out and see. I'm big. Hello, new here. If you're new here, you can put what you do in your business really quick. Let me know. Like the business that you're looking to get a grant for. If you were to get a grant for that business, what would it be for? We've been talking about what you do in your business. Okay, I see candle making. Um... Hello, Tracy. Welcome back. We've been talking about if you were to get a grant, what you would use it for. We've been talking about what's known as your social impact. So even if you um, get a grant, what is that one thing that you would tell a grant that you would do with some of the money to help your community? That's called social impact. Um, what else? Any other note takers been taking notes on what we've been talking about? I see a cosmetic brand. Oh, so said she's learned that there's more to receiving grants than just applying. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I agree. I really need to do a lot of research. Ooh, my. It's working. Oh, he's going to get hot. He got on a leather jacket. Sir, I think he in California. Is it that cold in California for a leather jacket? I'm let this man do his thing. Anyway. Had no clue about the importance. So, yes, girl, we do ev whole events around just so tell her, Ashley, whole events around just social impact. That is my number one secret. I have had two grants that wrote me checks. One gave me a scholarship to go through their program and help me sell my book when I wrote it. By the way, the book is a part of the mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com. Another one wrote me two checks. I won her business pitch competition and I won her. She did a COVID relief grant, won, won both of those. And they both, these are black women, check writers. And they said, the reason we gave you the money is because of your social impact. We see that, yes, you're making money on one end. However, you're giving a portion of that money, you're paying it forward and allowing other people to pay it forward. And you'll never, like like uh, Dr. Maya Angelou told Oprah, you'll never know the impact that you really have. 
And they're like, we see that in your business model and what you're doing. So social impact is so important and it stands out on grant applications because a lot of people don't know about it. They're not doing it. They're thinking, oh, I'm just going to get this money because my business needs it. Everybody's thinking that. But nobody else is thinking, hey, look how great of a Samaritan I am. Look how I'm helping my community. Excuse me, I'm doing it with uh, with my own money right now. Imagine you give me some money. I'm going to keep doing it. It's gonna, we call that um, multiplying the impact or maximizing the impact. You increase the impact of what the grant is going to give you money for. It's, and it's so much more behind that. When you get that down pat, so much more behind that. But uh, now you're ahead of the game because you know about that. Florida Designs gift basket. Take away. Take a break. Rest. Who's uh, yeah, Come on, rest and recovery. Come on. You know the rules. Love the glasses. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Social impact takes to the next level. It does. And if nothing else, it makes you feel good to be able to go back through your own timeline of milestones, of accomplishments, of successes, and be like, I have done a lot of good in my business. No wonder I'm successful. Because regardless of if you get the grant or not, the Bible says you reap what you sow. So if you out there sowing good, come on now. What you think going to happen? Hello? Hello, somebody? Hello? Okay. That's all. <laughs> so... What other questions, ahas, takeaways, do you guys have? Let me know. I am checking emails, make sure I don't miss anybody. Oh, it's funny because one of the programs is emailing me now. Um, they offer scholarships. I'm trying to see if they're going to put the next date they're opening a scholarship. By the way, these are what this is one of the programs that's on the list of the six that I give you guys to go apply to to get a scholarship to get in. That list is embedded in our membership over at blackwomenandgrants.com where you can get a scholarship price of only $97 for joining us today. So come join us. Um, okay, so they got scholarships. Um, Okay, and they're talking about some of the changes they're making as well. Okay. There's that. Any other questions, ahas, or takeaways? Y'all talk to me. Social impact is great. You gave me a new idea. We could do one on one rest coaching. Oh, a rest nest. <laughs> How cute is that? I love it. Um,. Yeah, think through your social impact. Social impact in the beginning usually looks like what someone has done for you. So for me, I get so excited about offering scholarships and discounts on joining us over at blackwomenandgrants.com because somebody hooked me up. Somebody to get into grants sent me a free list of grants. All I had to do was read through it, click on the links, go read, go apply, and I won one. I was like, oh. And so to thank her, I get, guess what I did? Now that I'm talking to y'all about it, I won $1,000 on that first grant from the list that she sent me. She wasn't even using the list like that to my knowledge. And I said, girl, just to say thank you, because I didn't even know about this opportunity, here's $100. That is 10% of the grant that I just want. Y'all see how social impact works? I reinvested in the person who got me started. So she couldn't say nothing. Here, take it. What's your cash app? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Even if you don't use, she got uh, two kids. I'm like, spend it on the nephew, the niece. Put, give somebody this money. That's my social impact. That's my give back. Just to say thank you. Not putting all the money back in my pocket. Like, ain't nobody never did enough for me. Ain't nobody never gave me no. Nope. Somebody did it for me. Somebody go go help them. Mm -hmm. So anyway, usually social impact looks like something that you have been helped with. It can look very much more different than that. But that's what it usually Thanks. My favorite social mission is I'm hearing a lot of people who are, um, I cried the other day watching a TikTok because now as we get older, y'all know how <laughs> our mamas was like, 
we got McDonald's at the house, or you got McDonald's money. Now that we got McDonald's money, we're reaching back to school book fairs and paying for the little kids to go through the scholastic book fairs that we didn't get a chance to go through or our parents didn't have enough money to give us to buy a book. Ain't that crazy? I don't know why TikTok do this little verification thing, but it just did it. I'm trying to shut us down, so I'm going to go in a minute. But, um, yeah, we're giving money back to the book fairs. We're paying for kids to eat at the cafeteria. Those, um, you know, kids that have to pay for lunch and can't eat because their lunch tab isn't paid. Um, I remember around the holidays, I went, did a drive through I forgot what I needed, but I was at, um, like, a family dollar in my neighborhood. And there was a mom in there, and her little boy was so cute. I love kids. But um, he was just kept, you know, asking questions about everything on the shelf. And she was so calm. And she answered all of his questions. And she was so peaceful. And she got to the register. I was there first. She was behind me. She bought her some cigarettes. And I was like, look, I don't support smoking and all that. But I, I watched their interaction. And I just took some cash, the first thing I seen in my pocket. And I, I rolled it up and put it in her hand. I don't care what you do with this. But bless you, mother. Because you doing your best with two kids. They were walking. I was walking, but I was walking just for health reasons. Maybe they could have been too. But she sure got her some cigarettes. I think she got some black and miles, if I'm thinking right. I just put it in her hand and walked out the store. I said, happy holidays. Boom. Because we got McDonald's money. Okay. So, all of that to say, our social impact, our give back, is not just to put money in our pockets but it's to literally give back because someone gave to us at some point in our life in our journey maybe they didn't give it directly to you maybe they gave it to your mama you know what i'm saying i know that i've been blessed all my life through sources like that so of course i'm the perfect person to bless with grant money and you know um mcdonald's money because <laughs> i'm gonna share it i'm gonna give someone else the opportunities that i've been gifted in the best way that i know how you see what i'm saying so that's why the social impact is is very very important so hopefully that makes sense to you guys any final questions before I go? Um, he's in my ear now. We're talking about homework. So I got to go do some homework for a class I'm in. Blackwomeningrants.com. Blackwomeningrants.com is where to come join us. Get in for the $97 scholarship price. And until we meet again, my friends, remember, there is someone somewhere. And they're waiting on you. Yes, you. To walk in your destiny so they can walk into theirs. Because it's when you let your own light shine, you give others permission to do the same. And when you impact one life through your social impact as a black woman, small business owner, future grant winner, you get to impact generations. So thank y'all for being the generations that I was able to impact today. I'm live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I might be back for some more surprise lives. So make sure y'all follow this channel, turn on the notification so you can get notified when we're live. Meet me over at blackwomeningrants.com, www.blackwomeningrants.com, and I will see y'all very, very soon. Have a phenomenal rest of your day. God bless. Bye, future grant winners.